A problem I run into quite often is I want to do a video, but I don't have data to support it. So I want to do a Tableau video on a car sales scenario. And I know what data I want, but I just don't have access to it. So I'm going to create this data myself. So here's the final data. I've got to make a model of a car, a year, a purchase price, repair cost, a sales price, a profit, uh, days in stock, days sold and salesperson. And this is when I worked as an accountant in the car industry. This is typical um, month end data set I'd use to uh, look at sales performance. So in order to make the dummy data set, we need to do some imports. So import pandas, numpy, random and date time. I've created a, a data structure here. So for out of my cars, I've got these are kind of car manufacturers. So I've got Audi, BMW, Kia, Honda and Skoda in a list. And then I've created dictionaries with the models. So as you see, Audi is zero. And then there's the models of the Audi. BMW is one and the models of the BMW. Uh, Kia is two and so on. And then I've created another dictionary with the prices of these models. So you got zero for Audi and then A1 is 30,000. And then I've created a list with my years and I've created a list with my salespeople as well. So now I've got my base data. What are the rules for my random generation? So I want to pick a random manufacturer from a list. Uh, from the manufacturer, I want to pick a model randomly, pick a random year, get the reference price from that model, adjust the price 10% down for each year, um, and take a purchase price and randomize. Uh, randomize repairs as a percentage of that purchase price, randomize the sales price as uh, repairs plus purchases minus five to 10%, uh, generate sales date per the month, generate a stock days and choose a random salesperson. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is randomize or make. So it's make equals random dot choice. This comes from the random library. And then I'm gonna put in cars. So this will pull a random car from our list. And this will randomize it every time. So that's the initial list of the different uh, car makes. Then I'm gonna take, take the index of that. So cars dot index make. So from the list, I'm getting an index of the make and just to print that out, that's the zero in the list is the Audi. So up here you see zero in the list and then we'll pull that zero down to pick the model. So the model is a random choice again and I'm taking a random choice of models dot get and this is, I'm taking a random choice but I have to go inside and find the list um, from the dictionary. So models dot get uh, model index and this is, gives you a random model from BMW which is our random make so that's BMW and we're going down to the first list and we're taking a random selection from that list so great I've got my make and model next thing I'm going to do is I need a price index so I need the index from my make and I need the index from my model so I'm going to uh, go models.get model index and then we're going to go dot index model and that's going to be my price index to get my price pretty similar to what we've done before now to pull the reference price we're going to do prices dot get and then we're going to choose the model index which will bring us to a list with the prices and from that list we're going to square brackets price index so it will just pull the reference price for the model that's been randomly selected. So just to print that out, that's 19,000 there. But I'm just using this as a base price. So essentially I've got my, my, my index here, I've got my index here, and I'm looking up the index down here to get the price. So I'm gonna randomize the year now. Um, so it's very simple, same as we did at the top two, random choice out of years. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to devalue the car from this. So essentially I've got my base price up above. Every year the car gets devalued 10%. So if it's a year old, it's worth 90%. If it's two years old, it's worth 80% of what it was. So that's the basis beside, behind my deval. So I'm taking the year 2021, which is the current year, minus the random choice of a year and multiplying that, that by 0.1 and that will get the uh, devaluation um, I want to make on each car for the random selection. So you can see this year's 2020, I've got a 0.1. Run it again, 
it's zero zero so there's no devaluation or sorry it's 2021 so it's not a valuation 2019 20 percent so my purchase price is going to be the price um and that's the base price multiplied by one which is a hundred percent minus the devaluation um and then i'm going to take a as i said in up above in the rules i'm going to take a random figure here and uh, i'm going to add a random um a random uniform so this is a random uniform so it can take any uh it can take any value in my range so i'm going to take it from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.1 so what this is doing so if it chooses a minus it's going to increase the purchase price of the car if it chooses a plus up to 0.0 to 0.1 it is going to decrease the purchase price of the car so it's 0 0.2 and then my inside the random uniform so this is just to when car sales you can you can buy cars for more then the the average might be worth or less so this is just to randomize that aspect here so let's have a look we've got a make model year and now we've got a random purchase price i'm just going to round this to the nearest cent so i'm going to round two um, and then i'm going to take a repair cost so repair cost um it varies greatly uh, per cars in my experience so i'm going to do a random uniform again from one percent to ten percent and it, this gives us a random a repair cost as a percentage of the purchase price so you can see here it's randomized and the next thing we want to do is the sales price and that's just um we're taking the purchase price plus the repair cost and then randomizing that between 0.95 which is 95 percent or 1.1 so we can either have a loss of 0.5 all the way up to a profit of 10 percent and look at that we've got random profit there so the next thing i'm going to do is randomize the stock days and this is just one to 90 in my experience car dealers normally sell cars uh, after 90 days to the trade so anything retailable will normally be only there for 90 days so that stock days is a random dot rand int now i want to randomize my date sold within a particular month so i'm going to have date sold equals date dot date time and then I'm going to put my starting date in here, which is I'm taking this off from the month of September. So we're looking at a September a set of car sales. So I'm taking 2021 9-1 for September. And then with this to randomize the day of the month, I'm going to take a daytime dot time delta. And this is going to be days in my time delta. And then I'm going to randomize this between um, 0 and 30. So random dot rand int. And this will give us every day uh, within the month. So it's randomizing what day a car was sold at. So when we're doing our analysis later on, they're all sold on different days and we can analyze like days of the week and all that sort of stuff. And this is just building up a mock data set. So the salesperson is also going to be randomized from our list. And we'll see how that works when we go and do our analysis in Tableau. Um, so we can say okay what salesperson had the most losses what salespersons had the most profits etc etc so now to bring it all together i'm just going to put in my profit figure so this is a not a sales people this is a sales price and this is minus purchase price uh, and repairs so that's just to give it a profit on the line like normally we mightn't do that we we could probably leave that out and calculate it in the bi but i just want to show you a full set here so this is all um that was all my items there um printed out so now i don't want to do this once for one line i want to do this for a lot of lines so this is where my data frame comes in but first i have to create the line which is going to be appended onto the data frame so I'm going to create a line dict, and this is a dictionary. In the dictionary, we put all these things into a dictionary, and then we make it into a line of a data frame, and then we append it. So to do the dict, I'm doing a, I'm doing a label, which is going to be the column label, and then I'm going to do a list inside that. Um, and this is just to get it into a, a pandas data frame. You need to do a, if you want to make a dictionary, you need to do a list, even though it's only one item. So I've got my label and then as my value i've got uh, my list and just to see what that looks like 
in the data frame. So I'm going to do PD dot data frame. And then I'm going to pass this line dict in. And I'm just showing you two data points. Uh, I'll show you the whole lot in a minute. So this is PD dot data frame line dict. And this is what it looks like. So this is kind of starting off my data frame. You can see the full data frame below. And then you see this is just the first two. Um, and I'm now just put all the other all the other um, variables in there. And now I've got my full uh, line for my data frame. So now this is just a line of the data frame. I want to multiply this by a couple of hundred if I want to create a data set. So on the car data the empty frame we've built above, we're just going to append the um, we're just going to keep appending these lines and we're going to run a for loop. So it's car data equals pd.concat. And the first thing we're going to put in is car data. And that's going to be empty starting off. But every time we iterate through the loop, it's going to add a line. So this is car data now. Um, and this is only going to show one line. But afterwards, we're going to create a for loop out of this, what's inside. And uh, it'll do many lines. So this is my one line here. And this is my generated data. So what I'm going to do now is just going to create a for loop around this. And it's as easy as just uh, for i in range. And we can put whatever, how many iterations we want. So for i in range 0 to 500, that'll be 500 iterations. Do a semicolon. And now when I run this, I've got 500 rows. And I can do this for any amount of rows I want. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to send this to a CSV. So it's car data to CSV, the name and the index. And in uh, Google Colab, which we're using for this, this is now created a generated CSV, which I can now take to Tableau. What I'll probably be doing for the Tableau video is I'll be doing this data for a number of months, taking it to Tableau and analyzing it. But you can see randomized data in a, in a CSV, exactly the same as my data frame. Um, I've done this in a couple of minutes and I can use this um, to do my next video data analysis. So as I said, in the GitHub, all the dummy data is there. You can just go into the, um, the IPython notebook and open this in your own collaboratory um, and then copy it in. And this is a standalone file. You don't need anything else but this notebook. Listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I know we covered a lot. And I'll see you next time for another data tutorial.